Let's Vibe Code, a fully functioning iOS and VisionOS drawing app in SwiftUI. Using the newly released O3 model and ChatGPT chat bar. In this example, we already have an Xcode project. So to begin, we need to provide a context for the model. So let's create a starter file. I will select this folder, O3 O4, and control click it, and choose the option New File from Template. We will leave it as a SwiftUI view and click Next. Let's call the file O3 Pencil Kit Drawing and create it. Once we have the file selected in Xcode, we can provide it as context for ChatGPT chat bar. To launch the chat bar, you should make sure the ChatGPT app is already opened. Next, you select the file you want to provide as context. Then you press Option and Space to launch the chat bar. You have noticed here we already have the file as context. One great thing about the chat bar is that we can move it around the Xcode window. So I can move it somewhere here and release it or move it to a corner. Once you launch the chat bar, you have noticed here by default 4O is selected. So let's change that and select O3. Next, I will add a prompt to create a SwiftUI drawing app using the Pencil Kit framework. Since we have already provided this file as context, I will ask the model to modify this code instead. So we want to modify the code to create a SwiftUI freeform drawing app using the Pencil Kit framework. Let's send a prompt to see what we will get. So it is now thinking and generating the code. We now have the generated code. So once you generate the code this way, we have two buttons here, review and apply. Let's apply the changes and move this somewhere. So without doing anything with the code, I'm going to resume the preview and see what we have. So we have a title, the drawing canvas, and a tool picker. So we can pick any of these tools to start drawing on the canvas. It seems like each of the tools is working fine. We can also change the color by selecting different color types. You have noticed with just a simple short prompt, we have been able to create a functional SwiftUI drawing app using the O3 model. So let's go through the code. To create a drawing app for iOS, you can use SwiftUI Canvas or use the framework called PencilKit. PencilKit is not supported by SwiftUI by default. So to use PencilKit in SwiftUI, over here in the code, we create a struct and make it conform to UI view representable. First, it generated the struct, which conforms to a SwiftUI view. And over here, we define these properties, PencilKit Canvas view, which allows you to draw on the canvas. Then we have pencil kit tool picker. That is the tool picker displayed over here. In the body of some view, we bring this struct that conforms to UI view representable. For this struct, we define these binding properties. Then we define a function to make drawing with all these properties. The one that is worth mentioning is this one, any input. If I put a period here, we have different options, any input, default and pencil only. These options allow users to draw with Apple Pencil or draw with the finger. So if you leave the option as any input, users can draw with Apple Pencil or using the finger. Next, we have another function, which is called the anytime something changes on the canvas. So now our vibe coded drawing app is in its basic form. Let's add more functionalities. For example, it would be good idea to have a button somewhere here so that once you draw anything on the canvas, you can tap the button to clear it. So let's add another prompt, like add a toolbar button to clear the canvas. So it is going to make the changes so that we can also apply it in the end. You have noticed it made some modifications. So let's click apply. In the preview, we now have a bin icon to clear the canvas. Let's see whether it works or not. So by tapping that, we clear the canvas completely. We can also add more functionalities. For example, adding another two bar buttons to undo and redo. It will now go ahead and modify the code further so that we can apply the changes in the end as the previous example. You can also auto apply the code 
as it was shown, but it would be a good idea to review the changes before you apply. So we can now start drawing on the canvas. Then we use the undo or redo. They all work perfectly. So let's look at how these icons were added. In Swift UI, to add an action button in the toolbar, you need to add the toolbar modifier to a view. So here we have the canvas. We add the toolbar modifier. Inside the toolbar modifier, we can define toolbar item group. Then we position the toolbar items at the leading section, the principal section, which is the center, or the trailing section, which is the top right. So we have all the tray buttons positioned at the trailing section. Let's change the title to, for example, all trade draw. Let's add another functionality. We want to save whatever we draw on the canvas. So let's add another button to the leading section of the toolbar to save whatever we draw on the canvas. So I'll go ahead and add another prompt. So once we send the prompt, it is going to add another button to the top left. So it made changes to the toolbar and added this part. I'll click apply. However, we now have four errors. So let's fix those errors. Now all the errors are gone and we have a button to save the drawing. So we can start to draw anything on the canvas and save it. We cannot do that in the preview. So the app crashed. However, we can go ahead and test it on a simulator. So I'll change the device from my iPhone and select iPhone 16 Pro Max. Then I'll make sure we have this file at the entry point of the app. So let's put a comment here and put O3 pencil kit drawing. Then I'm going to run the app. So let's try drawing anything on the canvas and see if we can save it to the photos album. So we have a warning here. You have noticed the app crashed because we wanted to access privacy sensitive data. So let's minimize the console and go back to the project navigator. What we need to do is to select the root folder and go to the info tab. In the info tab, you have noticed we have key and value pairs. So we have to add the privacy for photos library usage description. To add a new privacy, you can hover on any of these items. And once you do that, you have noticed we have a plus button. Let's click that and go to the section privacy. Then we look for photos library usage description. That is this one. For the value field, we can enter a custom string. This string will show to the user for the first time they use the app. So let's say, for example, all trade draw would like to use your photos library. And press the return key to save the changes. Then we can run the app once more. You have now noticed we have a pop-up that says all trade draw would like to use your photos library let's click full access so now i'll go to the home screen and launch the photos app you have noticed we have the drawing in the photos library so this is how to vibe code a fully functioning ios drawing app using the newly released o3 model and chat gpt chat bar we can still go ahead and add more functionalities to the app. That is exactly what we will do next. You can get the source code from the description of the video. So I encourage you to go ahead and get it from GitHub. Try it yourself and also continue to add any functionality you want. In our drawing app, we have now added the ability to clear the canvas, undo, redo, and also save whatever we draw on the canvas. We are previewing the app on an iPhone simulator. Let's see how it will appear on the iPad. On the iPad, the tool picker becomes drawable, so we can take it and throw it at the edges of the screen. The tool picker also has some additional settings. For example, we can auto minimize it. So once you create your drawing app with pencil kit, you get all these functionalities for free. Let's change the preview device 
back to iPhone and see what else we can do. Once we add more functionalities to the app, by adding buttons to the toolbar, it would be a good idea to do some organization. For example, we can organize all the action buttons into a menu so that you can tap the menu to select any of these buttons. With the Chat GPT app still opened, I will press Option and Space to bring the chat bar to organize the tray buttons into a Swift UI menu. Let's add this prompt. We want to add an ellipse to the trailing section of the toolbar. Remove these buttons and place them as menu items under the menu. So I'll change the model from 4.0 to 0.3 and send the prompt. So you have noticed it has now edited the file and applied the changes automatically. Let's move the chat bar away and see what it did. So you have noticed it moved all the two bar buttons under this menu. Let's confirm whether they work or not. I'll draw anything on the canvas and pick any of the tools. For example, undo, redo, and play. They all work perfectly. Let's review how the menu was added. To create a menu in SwiftUI, we use the menu closure. Inside the closure, we add all the items we want to display. So we have the save button, undo, redo, and the clear button. The menu's trailing closure also has a label. So whatever button we want to display in the toolbar, we add it as a label. If you remember, this is the same icon I specified in the prompt. That is this one. Let's see if we can add more functionalities. Now, we want to add an image button allowing users to import images on the canvas. So let's send the prompt and see if it will be able to create it. So it is now thinking about what it needs to do before it modifies the code. So now it has started making the edits. So it will go ahead and edit whatever it has already implemented. It will auto apply the change now. So in the trailing section of the toolbar, we now have a button to import images on the canvas. Let's pick any of the images. So we can pick any of the drawing tools and start drawing on the image. We have now added the ability to import images onto the canvas. Let's also add our last functionality. Now, whatever we draw on the canvas, we want to export it. So by adding this prompt, let's send it and see whether it will be able to add the functionality. For this example, we want to add a button at the leading section instead. So it is now thinking through what it has to do. So let's wait for a moment. It will soon start generating the code and apply the changes. It is now modifying the file. Now it has modified the code and applied the changes. So let's see what it did. One thing you should bear in mind is there is difference between the export icon and the save icon we added previously. So let's draw anything on the canvas and try the export functionality. So it added a blank sheet presentation. Let's try if we can fix that. So it is now generating a new version of the code. So let's look at what it will do. It has now auto apply the changes. Let's try to draw something on the canvas again. Interestingly, it added different features for the export functionality. You have noticed here we have the ability to copy. We can print or save to files. And more, we can add different kinds of apps, like exporting to WhatsApp or Slack. So at this point, we have added several functionalities, like the ability to import images onto the canvas. We added an ability to export images. That was the last functionality we added. I showed you how to preview the app on iPad. Now, let's see if we can take it to Vision OS. To take the app to Vision OS, I would copy this code and create a new SwiftUI project for Vision OS. You have noticed here, we have our project as Vision OS and the application as app. Let's click Next. Let's call it with the same name, O3 Pencil Kit Drawing. I will select everything in Content View 
and replace it. I will also change the file name to this tract. You have noticed we now have some errors. So let's try if we can use Otray to fix all the errors. The chat GPT app is still opened. So I'll press option and space to bring the chat bar. You have now noticed we have the file Otray pencil kit drawing dot swift. Let's also update the entry point of the app. Then we will go back and try to fix the errors we have. Over here, you have noticed we have two errors. So with the chat GPT app still open, let's press option and space to bring the chat bar. So I will ask the model to fix the errors. You have noticed that wasn't successful. So all the errors still exist. So let's be more specific by copying the error and asking it to fix it. You have noticed now it is modifying the code, so it is going to apply all the changes. Now all the errors are gone. So let's resume the preview and see what it did. So you have noticed here, we have successfully brought our drawing app to Vision OS. So we can pick any of these tools and start drawing. To do that, we need to use the select tool and start drawing. So everything here is also working fine as the previous example. We have all the other functionalities also working. We have all our edit tools in the menu and they all work fine as well. So for the Vision OS app, the placement of the toolbar buttons and the tool picker is similar to that of iOS. We have the export button and the title in the leading section of the toolbar. Then we have the image import and the menu at the trailing section of the toolbar. The tool picker containing all the drawing tools is also housed in a bottom ornament. To improve the drawing experience of the Vision OS app, one thing we can do is to move all the toolbar items from the drawing window and put them together as an attachment to the window as shown in the bottom ornament. In that case, we can ask the model to add a top ornament somewhere here so that it will be an attachment to the window instead of placing the two bar buttons right on the window. So let's ask the model to do that. That will be our final improvement. Then we are done. So it is now thinking through the process. It will go through and make the modification so that we get a top ornament, which is an attachment to the top part of the window. That is the drawing window. So it is going to modify the code and auto apply the changes. Let's see what it will do. Now everything is done. So it has auto apply the changes. Let's look at what it did. You have noticed that is exactly what it did. Instead of having the toolbar items right inside the window, we now have them as attachment to the window. So this is everything we have in this video. I showed you how to vibe code, a fully functioning drawing app for both iOS and Vision OS. You can find all the source code in the description of the video. I encourage you to take it from here, work on it further, and implement additional functionalities you want. Thanks for watching this video.